people today would like to talk about Power BI. There is a lot of questions, what it is, how it works. So we'll try to do the, not short, but uh, quite good overview, discussing uh, what it is and what it does. Um, so the goal would be to talk uh, about uh, uh, what value we get uh, and what is this environment uh, called 3D Experience Platform. We get access to once we commit Katia Magic uh, Cameo project uh, uh, using Power BI to 3D Experience Platform. And we'll understand the value of this digital engineering environment, 3D Experience Platform. We demonstrate uh, the demo how this works in change and configuration management process, collaborative process. So this is really good material prepared by my colleagues uh, and uh, it is a uh, good time to share it because uh, the need for such digital engineering continuity is uh, higher and higher. As you know, uh, here we have our um, Referential for Katia Magic uh, Cameo portfolio. So this is traditional Cameo portfolio. As you can see here, it's Katia Magic. Uh, here is some toolkit in Cameo portfolio. Here is uh, Magic Model Analyst in Katia Magic portfolio. So two portfolios, right? Uh, So-called legacy, uh, traditional old portfolio, and then the new Katia Magic. Uh, this uh, both of those portfolios are supported, but. Um, here we see also collaboration, a teamwork uh, cloud cameo collaborator and magic collaboration studio. Uh, and here we see Power BI as alternative for teamwork cloud. It's called collaborative designer for Katia magic. And this allows us to connect the data easiest way to 3D experience platform, digital engineering environment, 3D experience platform through the traditional interface, committing project directly instead of Teamwork Cloud to the 3D experience platform. So uh, Power BI is available from uh, release 2023 on cloud and on premises. Uh, this is in addition to Katia Magic license, so you need to have this license. It works uh, with the Katia Magic uh, new portfolio and Camera portfolio. Uh, the value to use the cloud deployment of uh, 3D Experience platform would be to have uh, it automatically updated, so you will always use the latest release. You would not need to manage on which version you are. <clears throat> Just one uh, note here that uh, when you have Katia Magic uh, and you want to connect to the Power BI, you need to go to the environment options and select this checkbox, enable collaborative collaboration Power BI. Just one change in the environment options. Now, short overview of this digital engineering environment. Uh, uh, it's web-based, as you can see here, 3D Experience Platform web-based. Here you can access uh, all the apps uh, here through this compass. doesn't matter where you will click, except the center. Center is for simulation. <clears throat> and uh, all the apps are grouped by roles, for example, like system engineering and so on, because it's just easier to find those apps like that. And then here we have a dashboard. So the dashboard is important because you can uh, uh, create the tabs. Uh, based on your engineering process and then drag those apps and arrange by tabs and tabs could be custom with custom names. So it creates really nice dashboards for different roles in the organization that they would not need to say, okay, I need to learn everything here. Normally they would just go open the dashboard and start working based on the engineering process and data can be found here. So through search, you search for the data and you drag and drop into right uh, tab into the right application and that's how you get access to the data which was not yet in that uh, application if it was already in the application then you will get that there are more things here like uh, uh, uh like uh, file storage like communication notification uh, uh more advanced search and so on 
now a few concepts uh, of um, Power BI and uh, what we would use for the change and configuration management. So we use uh, 3D dashboards to arrange uh, this app, 3D dash dashboards to arrange the uh, other applications based on the roles or organization. We use uh, Swim in order to communicate in like Facebook manner. We use user groups to organize the audience based on the interest. We use uh, Drive, 3D Drive for the file storage and share the files. We use tasks, collaborative tasks to assign the tasks, same as in uh, other task management systems. Lifecycle is used to propagate lifecycle from, you know, private to in work to released to uh, so on. Depends on the item. And then uh, 3D space is actually uh, ability to isolate uh, part of the server, 3D experience platform server for specific uh, projects uh, and groups uh, that they would not sh see other projects like in, the, in case of one project, they would just have this single curl up space, 3D space. And as you can see here, one of the apps is designed with Katia Magic, that's the app. Uh, role would be collaborative designer for Katia Magic. Now, when we work in the uh, in the Power BI, so you just need to go to 3D Experience Platform, log in, and from that point, you, all the collaborate uh, traditional menu menu in Katia Magic would uh, and Cameo would uh, you would use for Teamwork Cloud would work for Power BI too. That's that's the uh, same experience. But when you click, for example, open project, you will get a web based dialogue instead of the traditional uh, Java dialogue, because this would come directly from 3D experience platform. So uh, and again, you need to select this option, enable collaboration uh, power by true in options and event options in order to be able to access uh, power by on 3d experience platform instead of teamwork cloud in teamwork cloud it's false so really as you can see here similar uh, user interface but the back end is different completely completely different so it's alternative for teamwork cloud the advantages from the uh, project uh, data usage in uh, power by there are no cyclic relations allowed circular relations are not allowed and no uh, conflicts uh, on different version use when you use from one project one version and from another project another version of your project uh, so those problems allows you to eliminate some uh, issues later on once projects uh, and pro project and project number of projects grow you know that's that's happens in the large environments okay let's switch to the live demonstration here we can see dashboard in the top in 3d experience platform this dashboard already has tabs those tabs has names as you can see and if i will click uh, on this uh, hamburger in the left i see the my dashboards here those by name here and the compass if i click on the compass i will see apps those apps are arranged into the dashboards so for example, like requirements management app, I will click on new tab and I will drag this requirement management app. And it has two, you see two widgets even. Uh, on one widget, it shows all requirements uh, for the, with all the properties for the, you know, life cycle management and so on. In another widget, it shows uh, just text-based requirements, editing, same requirements. Here we see another tab with the 3d play widget allowing to see cameo collaborator new capability to publish when you are in power by directly to a 3d experience platform and a single button click you can get the model as you can see here and uh, in this demonstration we will go through this scenario this will be an oem on the right side collaboration scenario with the supplier 
when OEM will create the project and then we will share this project uh, in the common space from private space in common space and then give access to that project uh, from supplier perspective in order to use that project as used project in his own project to be able to access the required data. As you can see here, we have aircraft system project. Um, this project uh, is published uh, here using Power Buy, uh, and we can review all the diagrams. Uh, we can uh, click; everything is active. Uh, this is this is different viewer than Camo Collaborator. This is System Traceability Viewer. This viewer allows you to actually create traceability to element level granularity. And you will see this traceability next. So this is one of the advantages here. When you have the model published, uh, added to the 3D experience platform, you can start tracing to other models. That's what we do here in this first view. And then we go drill deeper in order to have element level uh, traceability to the design, let's say. This design traceability would be to electrical design, to mechanical design, engineering bill of material, as you can see here, landing gear and uh, other parts are propagated. Okay, if I select one part, like landing gear, I immediately see everything what traces uh, in uh, the functional analysis and requirements in the 3D model. As you can see, if I select on those parts, I see in the viewer what uh, in 3D viewer navigation uh, application, I see what I'm selecting in 3D. Now here in this traceability view, we can also create notes. You can create comments and this enables collaboration. As you saw here, I clicked on this book in the top. That's how I can see here that uh, I have some uh, comments created and here how to create them. You know, you click on that pencil, you click on the plus and you just start, uh, type uh, uh, comment uh, uh, in order that someone would react to it or just for yourself. Here we have a list of comments. They are associated with elements. We have contributor, we have modification date, and as you see the last uh, column is issue. So issue is the next step. Once we see that this comment requires us to do the action, we create an issue and we assign that issue to whoever we need to address it. So here you see that we are creating this issue. And now we have new issue created. So there's another tab with the specific app, Issues Management app, where we see issues. And those issues, we have workflow, we have other properties, and we have elements attached under them. You see, we have those elements because they were originated from those elements. And then we can add more elements in order to have uh, issue com with complete data set to address. And here we have uh, issue created, but nothing was attached. So we just drag the project part in order to attach. And uh, with recent release of uh, Power Buy and 3D Experience Platform, uh, SysML elements granularity is single element for the attachment to the issues so for change and configuration management. So we can actually attach block, attach uh, other type of elements directly, not necessarily the whole project. And here you see I can change the maturity of issue from in work to in work in order to start collaborating, to start executing on it. And uh, my execution was that I created new change action. So from issue I can create change action. And this change action requires now someone else likely we can assign who here this new change action and the app is change execution which is related to change to the data 
and propagation to the new revision. So here we have now uh, change action. And here we see approver zero, assignee zero, owner one, informed users one. So we can assign all, all of those who needs to execute and be informed on change action. Now we set to not, not yet to approve, but uh, once we will uh, do the change, once we execute the change on the data, and that's here, you see how we can navigate directly from the 3D experience platform. We click on the Katia Magic icon and we open uh, installation of Katia Magic or Cameo and the project which was attached to the change, which was originally attached to the issue, which was originally traced. And then uh, here we execute the change. We commit the change to the server using collaborate menu. <coughs> and uh, we'll uh, switch this project, uh, this change action to approve state. Here we are committing. And now going back to the change action, we can go to the life cycle of the Katia Magic project committed. As you can see here, this is that uh, project. Uh, we can control branching uh, and we will create a new branch in order to transition to the new revision and in order to give that branch share with the supplier <coughs> now we are switching uh, to the change action and we will transition that change action state to the approved in approval not to approve but in approval in order to get approval for the change So uh, someone who we assigned as approval will get notification. Notifications can be received in this web interface. They can receive by email, by other different manners. And here we have, now we have task to approve. We click, uh, we go open the task. We see what to do with what data set. We can add command. And in the top, you see there is approve button. So we can save and approve. Or not approve. Now we are going back to the life cycle and here we will branch and will uh, give access to the version of uh, project, Katia Magic project uh, to share with the supplier. Now we are ready because now it is approved and we are changing access rights to access it by the common area you see here common leader so someone who has access to that collapse space common area will see this new branch and they will be able to use this project as a used project in the project in order to do uh, architecture required of subsystem and then trace back to the uh, to the requirements they got. So that was short overview. Hope it was helpful. Let me know if any questions.